Hello, my name is Derek Taylor, and I'm the Director of Diagnostic Radiology at Memorial Hospital in South Bend, Indiana. I'm here today to talk to you about low-dose CT, which is an improvement that we made here recently in our CAT scan department. Let me first talk a little bit about what is a CAT scan or what is a CT, um, and how does that compare to a regular x-ray, and what are the differences? So with CAT scan, uh, we are able to take a 3D image of the body, and with diagnostic x-ray, it's only a two-dimensional image image. So to kind of illustrate that point, let me talk about that a loaf of bread. So think of the x-ray as you're looking at the whole loaf of bread from the outside. Uh, there, all of the slices are overlying each other and you can't really see three-dimensional. Even if you turn it from side to side, you can only see uh, a couple of different planes. Now think of a CAT scan as that same loaf of bread and now I'm able to take out an individual slice of that bread and now I can look at it at the face of the slice, I can look at the side of the slice, I can look at it from the top down, I can look at it in all three dimensions and so that's one big difference. Uh, another substantial difference is the dose uh, that's required to obtain a plain x-ray versus the dose that's required to get a CAT scan and so a CAT scan uh, does require unfortunately a lot more dose but you also get a lot more diagnostic information from a CAT scan. Let me talk a little bit also about some of the trends with CAT scan. Uh, in the past several years there's been a lot of advancement in the technology of CAT scan alone from the point where we were using single slice scanners to now we have multi-detector multi-slice scanners and so the speed at which those images could be acquired is much greater today than it was uh, when CT first came out. So as an example in 1986 we did about uh, 18.3 million CT scans across the United States and in 2007 that number jumped to nearly 72 million so um, the speed uh, obviously had a lot to do with that. It, it, with physicians being able to get results much quicker with much more accuracy and information was an advantage. And so that's, uh, consequently that number grew substantially. With that obviously came increased uh, media uh, coverage and exposure to the radiation dose for CT. Um, as an example, uh, in the United States, about half of a person's background radiation that they require is from natural sources, and, and the other half is from medical imaging. And about 25% of the medical imaging slice uh, is directly attributable to CT. And so it's a big uh, chunk of the dose that patients get of radiation. One of the things that we wanted to do to try to combat that dose is to work on uh, getting technology or acquiring technology uh, to, to reduce the dose for our patients in their CT scans. So in 2012, uh, kind of going down that pathway, what we decided to do is upgrade one, two of our existing scanners as well as replace one of our existing scanners and we put the low-dose technology on all three of those uh, devices and so now we have a full low-dose strategy in place to reduce the doses for our patients. Um, when we installed uh, the software, we worked very closely with the vendor that we chose with our lead CT tech as well as some of our board, board certified radiologists which are the physicians that read your exams uh, to look at this dose reduction technology and how it was going to impact the image quality in our area. And this was an important step because we didn't want to compromise the quality of the images that the radiologists are looking at to diagnose disease but we also wanted to make sure that we could reduce the dose uh, a significant amount uh, but still maintain that image quality that that radiologist needs to read your test. So um, that was a very important step. Um, and so as part of that process, what happened was our, our, we reviewed all of our CT protocols uh, and we were able to accomplish about a 40% dose reduction uh, as a result of that, which we feel is very important and really aligns well with the hospital's mission uh, of serving the community as well as with our value of improving safety uh, for the patients here at Memorial Hospital.